What's up everybody? Today we're at the range, so if you hear any gunfire, just bear with us. It's gonna be a little bit loud. I'll try to run a compressor so that you don't hear a bunch of really loud noises. So today we're gonna to take our Mossberg 500, which typically can only shoot uh, two and three quarter maximum uh, inch shotgun 12 gauge shells out of it. And uh, we're gonna throw in some three and a half inch buckshot shells just to see what happens when we try to fire those in there. I don't think it's gonna cycle, but I actually never tried it. So today we're gonna to try that. Let's see what happens. I apologize, but uh, my Canon camera the one I use for filming all my stuff, it crapped out on me, the screen stopped working. So unfortunately I have to film this from a Samsung phone and it's getting really cold out here. So we're gonna try to do this as quick as we can. We're gonna stick these in here. Uh, I, I don't know if this is a good idea, but uh, this is a Mossberg 500 and we have a, uh, a, uh, some three and a half inch shells. These are 1200 velocity, Double lot buck, 18 pellets, three and a half inches. I don't know if you should do this, um, but we're gonna try. We're gonna stick this in here. There we go. It says in the manual that you're not supposed to do this. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I can't stick them in the tube. I don't know if it's gonna eject or not. I don't know if it's gonna blow up. Let's just find out if you can do it. The reason I have these is that I bought the wrong size by accident. I didn't even think about it. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, ouch. <laughs> the gong went inside the cardboard box. Uh-oh. Yeah, see the shell's too long now. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna pull that out of there uh, a little bit later. Let's go see what hap <laughs> happened over here. <coughs> Let's go see what happened over here. What the hell? Wait a minute, what's... Oh, okay, I thought that was mine for some reason. I guess the, our gong target, our gong target is, uh, a little bent out of shape. This was actually not from that. This was from uh, many times, many slugs, buckshot, and everything else. That's why it looks like this. I'll show you a picture. I'll probably pop up a picture right now in the video so you can see in detail about this. Let's go back and try to get that uh, that thing out of there if, if we can. Safety's on. Yeah. No, 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 I gotta get, I guess we have to try to get that shell out of there. Uh, my hands are too cold. Okay. All right. Well, well, the, the, the barrel seems okay. I mean, I don't expect anything to be wrong with that. Uh, hey, that wasn't so bad. I mean, <laughs> I guess you could do it. Um, it would just be a pain in the ass. But if you happen to have, you know, three and a half inch shells and you you don't have a shotgun that'll fit it. It's just gonna be a little bit of manual work. Oh well. So we're running out of film time. Uh, I'm just gonna stick this three and a half inch buckshot into my Mossberg 500. We're gonna shoot this weird target setup and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be fun. Well, let's go shoot that thing, I guess. Come on. All right, you ready? Here we go. God damn. Uh, here. Okay. okay then. Woo! Okay. The gong target is in here. Oh. Look at look at the look at the destruction. Both are shooting sea targets. Ouch. Okay, well, that's all. 